Welcome to Mind Insider, where we harness the law of attraction to manifest dreams and create an empowered community pushing the boundaries of manifestation to the extreme. Don't forget to join us by subscribing to the channel. Now, let's begin today's session. Our words are a tool for the mind to create a reality. These three words are commonly used by most people in their daily lives without even knowing the adverse effects uh, of these words on their lives. These three words that we believe to be so common are blocking the positive manifestations from coming into reality in your life. We use these words without even knowing their adverse impact on our lives. As soon as you become aware of these words and remove them from your daily vocabulary, you will find out very soon how they can change your life. The law of attraction will begin to work positively in your life and you will begin to see great results. Let us begin by looking at each word one by one and understanding their impact on our lives. The very first word that people use commonly in their daily conversations is the word, I hope. When you say the word, I hope that there is a negative energy attached to it. There is a negative emotion that is hiding behind the word hope. The world holds emotions that you believe that you can't get something in your life and you are waiting for a miracle or by any chance for it to happen. You are saying that you do not believe that it will happen, but maybe some magic will occur. And we will get there by saying, so you are putting yourself in a state of deprivation. You are saying that you do not believe that you are worthy of something good to happen to you. It comes out so casually that you don't even realize it. I hope that I get rich. I hope that I can get wealthy. I hope that I could have a good life. I hope that I could have a great life. I hope that I could find my perfect soulmate. I hope that I could live a healthy life. I hope that good opportunities would find me. I hope that everybody around me would love me. I hope that I get the promotion. I hope that I can buy my dream car. I hope that I could buy my dream house. I hope that my friends or lover don't betray me. I hope I could be able to travel around the world. I hope, I hope, I hope the continuous use of these words in your daily lives is creating a vortex of negative energy around you. If you want to use the effective law of attraction in your life to manifest your desires into reality, then you have to understand that the law of attraction works on the basis of your energy. Only the energy that you radiate into the universe is what is going to come back to you. If you are coming from a vibrational energy of begin, are feeling deprivation and unworthy, then that is what you're going to attract to yourself. The more you will feel the deprivation, the more that deprivation will be created in your own life. Whatever is on the inside of you gets reflected to external world. Instead, whenever you are speaking about your desires, be mindful of what you're saying. Keep an eye on yourself. Whenever you say these words in your conversation, stop right there and change them. So what is it that you can say instead of saying, I hope? Well, if the word I hope comes from a point of desperation and vulnerability, you need to change these words into something that has the vibrational energy of certainty and abundance. So whenever you catch yourself saying, I hope change these words with I know. So instead of saying, I hope that I get the money, substitute the sentence by saying, I know that I am worthy of this money. I know that I have the ability to be successful. I know that I'm gonna get this promotion. I know, I know. I know, remove I hope from your life and replace it with I hope forever. This is going to reflect positively in your life. As soon as you begin to make these changes, I know that I have an abundance of money. I know that good things are coming my way. Notice the change in energy that comes with saying the words, I know there is an excitement and positivity of energy associated with these words. And hence the universe will bless you with excitement and positivity in return. The second word that we're going to talk about is the word I need. I need to have more money in life. I need to have a girlfriend and I need to have a successful business relationship. I need a car, I need a house, etc., etc. You're saying every time that I need something and what energy does that hold behind it? You're simply saying that you are a needy person. You are saying that you are living a life of deprivation. You are running behind those things that you do not have in life, leaving you embattled from within. That is what you feel that you deserve in life. Have you noticed how most people are living their life like this without even realizing it? You will be talking to someone in your family or friends and they will tell you that I need such and such thing to happen to me. That would be great if it happens. 
I need my colleagues to be less brutal to me. I need people to be appreciative of me and my work, snicker, or I need my neighbor to be less nosy and mind their own business. We live in a world which is filled with the abundance of everything that we can ever imagine. This world is filled with an abundance of money, with the abundance of love, with the abundance of prosperity, with the abundance of happiness, and everything else dear to the human species. If you would only let yourself feel the worthiness and abundance from within, then you will be able to access all of these things. The universe wants to bless you in all the beautiful ways. All you have to do is stop looking on the outside for your happiness. Your desperation will only repel your happiness away from you. The more you will be desperate for something, the more the universe will continue to make you deprived of it. It is the energy that you put into your words again that can bless and make your reality. Have you ever noticed how a man or a woman is usually attracted to someone who does not come up as super desperate to them? You are usually attracted to people who are not super clingy. It is embedded in our psychology itself. The same thing goes with our inner self as well. You need to feel that you are abundant in all fields of life. You come from a place of being content with yourself. You do not need the money. You do not need someone to help you feel prosperous. My life is filled with abundance. My life is filled with prosperity itself. I amplify this emotion every day. Tell yourself that, tell yourself that again and again and give yourself a reason for it. I know that I am worthy and abundant because I am passionate about my work. The universe blesses me every day. I have the food to eat on my table. I have this life ahead of me to explore the world. My passion drives the money for me automatically. I am passionate about life. I have everything that I could ever imagine. I'm sitting right here with all the health that I'm blessed with. I am an abundant human being. There is a difference between the energy of the word I need. And then saying that I'm abundant, focus on the things that you have in life and begin to radiate positivity. Based on those things, you are a personification of vibrational energy. Channelize that energy into its pure form. Everything that you desire already exists somewhere in the universe. When you become united with everything that exists around you, the universe begins to bless you in miraculous ways. New opportunities will begin to show up without you trying to push yourself toward them. The third and the most negative word that you can say for yourself is the word, I can't, I cannot do this, I cannot do that, I cannot achieve this in life, and I cannot be successful. These are all negative emotions that arise due to some previous experiences that you had in life that are holding you back till this very day. It is the result of those past experiences that your subconscious mind believes that you are unable to do or achieve something in life. And you also begin to hold that true to yourself. But imagine if Shakespeare would have thought that no one would read my plays ever. It is a waste of time to write about anything. What would have happened? History wouldn't have registered a noble mind in the field of literature. We find his literature for references till now, keeping him alive with his work with us till now, just because of the fact that he believed that he could you will not know the power that you hold within you till the time you let it flow freely. And that power won't be unleashed till the time you will keep saying, I cannot do this. Take another example of J.K. Rowling. For instance, before the release of the first book in the series of Harry Potter, she was leading a miserable life. She lost her mother, lost her relationship, lost a child in the process, and later again fell into an abusive marriage relationship. She was also refused by many publications. What if she would have believed that she could not, if she would have told herself that she could not be a published writer, she would have never found the fame that she has today. She told herself that she could, and all of us know what happened next. Her books were sold out from the bookstores, and she became a world-renowned author. Before the actual miracle happens, everything might seem to be miserable but it is your belief and strong determination that can bring your desires into reality. Take a look at other personalities such as Oprah Winfrey herself. She pulled herself out of poverty and is now one of the richest people in the world. If she would have continued to believe that her poverty had no end, her life would have spun about differently. 
Even Steve Jobs says that the world is built by people no smarter than you by the word you. He means people like you and I, simple, ordinary people. But only those people have the ability to change the world and the people who believe in themselves. Whatever you believe that you are on the inside always reflects on the external world. So keep in mind that everything you can imagine is everything that you can achieve. Never tell yourself that I cannot do this. Remove this word from your vocabulary and start saying that I can. The world is filled with infinite possibilities of everything to happen. You have the impact on the world with your words that create your reality. Look at people like Elon Musk who has a dream to colonize Mars for which we all know that he has started the program SpaceX. That is his vision that he believes that he can bring into reality. One day when he was, to ask that how he was able to compete with NASA in order to launch his program, he simply responded that he reads a lot of books. Chuckle, you can see how he is focused on his vision only without being insecure about NASA. He is doing what he is doing because he believes that he simply can. So make this decision for yourself today that you are going to change your life for the better because you have the power to change your reality. You hold everything within you that you have always desired. Make this decision today that you are going to change your life. Within the next six months, you can get that money that you always wanted. You can get your dream job. You can get your dream life. Stop asking yourself why and start telling yourself why not. Why can't you have it? You can have it in your life with positivity and happiness. You have the ability to be the best version of yourself today. You deserve to be happy. You deserve to be prosperous. You deserve to be abundant in life. You will meet new people who will fill your life with excitement and positivity. Positive attitude will attract more positivity into your life. Begin to invest in yourself and stop telling yourself that you cannot do it. You can do everything that you can think of. Believe in the power of yourself and trust me, amazing things will begin to happen to you.